Hello, Norva Ragnar here. So today I received my package for my Gears of War card game. The box does say Dungeons and Doggies. Um, I don't know if that's just a standard box or if it's actually meant to be for something, but this definitely isn't Dungeons and Doggies. Alright, let's just open this box up. <laughs> Right, all the tape removed. Oh, we've got us plenty of recyclable stuff. So here it is. Oh, that is dusty. How awesome that is. Comes with cards. It's not a toy. The logos of the studios, barcode, standard information. Inside the box, 265 cards, 15 scenarios, and the rule book. That's always going to be handy. There's up to two players, 14 plus. I did actually buy two of these, uh, so I do have two. Uh, one is to keep sealed for my collection, that at some point when I get round to it I will be showing off, um, and the other one is see, to, do, to, to have, to, to show and display in my collection open. <laughs> Um, I do actually have to do the same with a lot of my games for the Gears of War series. I have the special editions sealed and open so I can display the contents within as well as the sealed up copy. Um, but like I said, hopefully at some point I'll get around to showing all of that stuff, um, which I'm quite excited to do because it's all lugged away in boxes at the minute. So. I mean, I can get that out. Oh, trust me, I'm going to. This looks great. Just the box art itself is brilliant. It's made by Steamford Games. Is it Steamford? Yeah, Steamford Games. So they, 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 on their website, they do a lot of gaming-styled board games. Um, it's quite reasonably decently priced. I mean, these for this pack was thirty-five. Uh, UK, so that's thirty-five pounds. Um, weirdly, though, the the shipping you had to spend over forty pounds to get shipping, um, which wasn't a problem for me because I ended up buying two anyway. But uh, originally, when I was just going to buy the one at first, yeah, it, <laughs> it said that I couldn't progress because you know, I still had five pounds left for shipping, and there's nothing there for five pound, but. Anyway, but this looks great because Gears Gears did do a uh, board game. Um, that this is obviously the card game. So Gears a while back they did the board game, and I, I did come across that. But at the time, I just didn't think I didn't think the board game would get as rare and become such a such a classic co collectible as it has become. Um, I think at the time I saw it at like twenty thirty quid and and. I I'll kick myself now because I never picked it up. Whereas now it's, I think the cheapest I've seen it recently is about eighty quid, which, you know, for for a collectible item it's not too pricey, but for a, a board game, you know, it it's all, all depends on on your budget and how much you're willing to spend on on these these said items. Um, at the time, eighty pound was a bit too pricey for me, and I, I haven't been able to pick it up since. Uh, I mean. Since then, I've seen it 100, 120, and, and that is definitely just way too high for for a board game. Um, I mean, I'd never play it, I'd never open it. It would be a part of my collection, but I, I'm keeping an eye out to see if I can get one reasonably cheap, or well, not cheap, but within a decent price range. Um, and as as soon as I heard that these guys were doing the card game, that was I, was, I didn't want to do the same again. Um, you know, wait a couple of years. And then it become an, an item that's worth 
or, or going for loads because of the old, you know, the old scalpers. And not that I'm, I'm planning on reselling at all, but you never know what could happen in the future. And it, it's, you know, why pay hundred pounds in a couple of years when I can get it now for thirty-five? Right, so I've just taken this out of its uh, cellophane packaging. Throw it in there, ready to be recycled. Uh, turn that round, you don't want to be seeing my address. Uh, no one wants to know where I live. Anyway. Oh, so I've not actually looked in these yet, or, or looked at the cards. I don't know what they actually look like, so this 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 is going to be interesting. Let's get this lid open. Oh. Ooh, I'm guessing this would be the old rule book. Bit of reading. I'm guessing that's a bit of a description of the game and just the world itself. And the credits, for the card game, Steamford Games, and Coalition. Page of contents, most generic book stuff. Uh, playing your first game, setting up. Okay, so it oh, looks like that's a list of contents for the cards I'm guessing they sort of look like the cards that you used to get in the uh, packs from Gears 4 I'm guessing that's probably why they've done that is it would make sense and what's this say? There are more rules and how to play Cold players turn first turn okay so Is that sort of the layout you go for? Is that a map that you get a place map with it, or is it just that's just the background drop and you just play it wherever? I'd probably assume that there is no place map for it. Take the cover. It's kind of like the Gears Tactics card version. Ooh, lovely selfie of Ram. Good old Ram. Stats for the cards and what each does. I'm actually having to read this. I'm not 100% sure on what all of this is. I'm just now this is open, the first time seeing this. Let's move you guys. So. Interesting. Okay, so I put them in a suppressed position. Maybe this could be a nice little diorama set to build. A nice little placemat for these cards. Once I sort of figure out the rules, what to do, what everything does. Oh, and there's a deck checklist. Campaign. I'm guessing that's just the story of the game. Some bloodied cog tags, because why not? Oh, okay, and it, there's chapters, is there? Okay, that's interesting. So is that a separate game style, or do we reckon that's the main style? Oh, in grenades. Little fish in a barrel. Taken from a chapter or act name from Gears 2, I believe. I could be wrong. The old Ferron Guard, Berserker. We still need a Berserker figure. There's a lot of people who have made custom ones and they look amazing. Um, well, having an official figure would be just as awesome. Um, I'm hoping with Storm potentially releasing more um, that they might actually go into those sort of characters that we never got with NECA. Um, NECA seemed to just stick with the main Delta line for whatever reason. Uh, you know, we never got a Dizzy, we never got a Ty, uh, I mean, we never, never, never even got a Myra, which Storm have showed us a prototype, so let's just hope, fingers crossed, that that actually does come out. Because uh, that would be awesome. Right. Oh, there's a 
has that new card smell. Like you know how like games have a new smell. This is the same. It's just yeah, card. It's card and ink, as you probably expect. It's a Dom, there's the back of the cards. I'm guessing they're the cog characters. I don't know if they're done by characters or sort of stats or or what. Okay, there's no back on this one. These are the sort of get these open and have a look oh, right so so again I, I, I haven't gone through these I literally just opened them out of the pack let's have a look uh, there's Dom at the start of your turn you may draw a card so I guess there's a buck of basic style card a bit of credits there the other rods reserved so at the bottom chapter one I haven't had a proper look at the, the the rules or how you're meant to play, so I'm, I'm not 100% sure on what these mean. I don't know if that's you can only play these in that set, set chapter. Cell block Marcus being tough because our boy Marcus is a tough, tough nut. Harder Marcus, okay. So you got you can have two Marcuses running on your field. Guard. So I'm guessing these are more like an infantry styled game okay, where you can have select units that do X amount of damage in your all sort of God. suddenly come down with a cold out of nowhere. So that's always fun. It's a lot of Marcus cards. I mean, they've all got the same sort of backs. So we'll, we'll they feel, they, feel, they feel quite nice as well, they're not. Well, that was double sided. Okay, that's. Hmm. Okay, I'm not too sure what that's about, but I'll have to read the uh, <laughs> rule book for this. But. I've got different numbers on them, so. Five, four, right down to one. Well, zero. Like a dice. A bit of Dungeons and Dragons with Gears cards. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Some vehicles. So what's the gears game about any vehicles? <laughs> yes, I'm not quite in intrigued to learn how how this game actually works. It's it looked quite I mean it definitely isn't like a poker style card game, that'd be a bit a bit of a different card game. A lot of Marcus cards. I and mean, I'm hoping that we get some other characters other than just one Dom and oh, another double sided card, okay. I wonder if that's double use you get out of it. Some weapons, again, double sided. Jack timer, okay. Again, double sided. That one goes right up to, to nine, I think, seven. Some old Jack, well, at least we get different characters, but. Oh, look, another Marcus. How refreshing. <laughs> yeah, we do like a bit of Marcus. Oh, Marcus was in Avengers apparently. Must have missed that scene. Oh, and Dom. Damn. Dom gets around. It's a chapter 15, so, okay. Hey, right, we're getting to some drones now. <laughs> some drones. Emergence hull. Hey, Ferron. Yes, that's that's what we like to see. The old Ferron elites. Or oh, Ferron elite. It's the Ferrons in general. The artwork on these cards are really nice. Ah, General Ram, of course. Go, go grab him. Heart. 
crew left, is there going to be a crew right? <laughs> there is. Okay, that's... No, that's single-sided. That's... Okay, and center. All right, so you can get triple-sided from Krill. Respawn point in the hive. So... Enhanced senses. Corpse, uh... <laughs> Some more torque bows, double sided again. So, I'm guessing these are there's weapons for cogs and weapons for locusts because the torque bows you got a blue, you know, you got blue and red and for the different forces that you want to use them for, I, I, I would I guess. Response drone. It's got, they're quite, quite thick as well. They're not. They don't feel flimsy. They don't feel. They don't feel cheap either. They're, they're really, really, are really nice. Tenacious push. Tenacious D's rival apparently. <laughs> this is not the greatest game in the world. This is just a tribute. Brumac top. Brumac bottom. Okay. Now, I understand why this game has a. <laughs> Bit of a high rating, okay. Different kind of gears game that is. Use your RAM. Yeah, we've got more RAM, that's, that's nice. The old styled image by the looks of it. Good old RAM. And we've just got some positions by the looks of it, just pillars, some map building stuff. Another pillar. What does the description say? Okay, so you can use them as cover, or as a form of cover. A truck, Troika turret, cover light. Okay, so I guess we've got a couple of those. Possibly for when you've got the uh, krill coming down, you can use some light cover. Elevation. Because as we all know, we have the high ground, you're going to win. A few elevation cards there. Left lane, okay. That's... Even the card game has vehicle segments, you know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, different lanes, loose boards. Ah, oh, remember that's that section in the old gears, the original game. Creaking of boards never sounded so scary, especially when I first played it. Damn. There's a fair few loose balls you can have in there. Okay, you can have a leg guarded, you know, because a guarded leg is always handy. Ah, corpse there. Corpse there, yeah. Absolutely heavily armoured skin. Still no match for Dela. Sandbags. Cog soldier's favourite thing. Fountain, or you know, you want to make a wish, I suppose. Drown your locust forces in the in the tree. Now that's the area where you fight the uh, second berserker in the first game, I believe. It took me ages to figure out that you had to knock the wall down. That was always fun for the timer going down. Nothing, nothing gets the anxiety going like being timed and it running low. Train car. And they catch me out. Crates. When you're ready to fight Ram on the train. Oh, the old trusty frag out. Okay, so we've got some like grenade cards. Okay. This is quite interesting. Right now, I'm guessing you'd have a couple for. Oh no. Gone from grenades to. Don. Okay. Uh, we got we got a coal, but it's not actually for coal, it's evasive action. Yeah. Okay, I mean. Why not? <laughs> yeah, the coal train don't retreat. We've got a couple of those.
loads of tree cards. Low wall. High wall. Wretch. Okay, so we've got some decent variety of locust characters in the card game, but not many human characters. Got Berserker. And more Don. More of the wall. Quill Shroud Defense. We're wrong. I'm guessing it could be used for any character. Oh, we, oh okay. Jewel Sergeant. Let's say we get a Carmine. Or a Cog Soldier, but. No. One thing I did notice on the back is a lot of them, well, a few of the defensive cards, you know, the low walls and that, they, they have the uh, defense emblem on the back. That's... Uh, so I quickly just went through the other deck just to have a quick look to see if it makes sure it wasn't the exact same as the other one. Um, it, it's, it kind of is, it still has the sort of defense packs and uh, defense cards and location cards um, it has some decent characters and you get, you get you know, the boomer there's the uh, you know, grenadier canis uh, you get the reaver uh, a respawn card um, I think there was a, a brumac one that I saw yeah there you go it's like a brumac stomp sort of thing so um, yeah I mean <laughs> without actually knowing the rules, I, I don't really know the cards mean, um, or like the, the whole point of them. Um, but even just to look at, they're, they're really nice. Uh, the artwork is great on them, the, the cards themselves, like, they don't feel cheap and tacky. Um, I remember years ago, uh, Lord of the Rings did a card, a card game, and they, they generally just felt like paper. Um, they weren't great. The, these are, I mean, they're still, it's, they're card, so, you know, they're, they're still very flimsy, but they, they feel nice they, they they you know they feel worth like, deep good quality is probably the word i'm looking for you know. uh so yeah the, the quality of the card is nice the, the artwork's nice uh, you know so if this if you're not even if you're not a fan of card games i mean i'm not particularly uh much of card and board games um but it, these are great uh, definitely a purchase that i'm not uh, regretting it, 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 this is nice it's gonna be great for, for for the collection and if you are a collector of cards or Gears of War or, or in gaming in general it's, an, it's a nice nice little collection to have that you know, in a couple of years time it might become a bit bit bit, bit of a unique collection to have um, I mean at the moment they're still quite new so they're, you know, they're, they're around um, I'm not too sure if people are reselling them online, um, so I don't know the sort of price range that people are asking for them. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you go onto their website, they they do ship, uh, you know, UK, US, um, I'm sure other places in the world they, they do ship to. Um, and I, th I think the price range is yeah, it's, it's about thirty five pound for UK, forty dollars US. Um, so I mean. Depending on where you are, and depending on how your current the currency exchange, you know, it's, it's probably going to be around that, that that sort of price range. So it's not too drastic. Um, obviously, you know, circumstances at the moment can be a bit, you know, the old price crunch and everything. It's all, all good fun, but yeah, this this definitely something I'm happy to have in my collection. Right. Very nice. I haven't actually opened the other pack yet. Um, I'm just assuming that it's going to be the exact same. Um, just more infantry cards and defense cards and sort of positioning things. Um, I don't actually know if there is. No, I was just going to see if there was like a placemat underneath for the, for the cards for, for when you're playing. Um, but no, there isn't. Uh, it's just, just more card. Which is fine. Um, it's not. I wasn't expecting one. Uh, it's just some, sometimes you, you you get placemats with card decks. You know, maybe might maybe an expansion they do with additional cards and additional things later on, uh, depending on how well this sells. Maybe, but who knows? 
but thank you for joining me in my first unboxing video of the Gears of War card games. Ah, stay tuned because there are more videos coming and once again thank you very much and as always stay safe.